Good evening everyone, I am Mr. Ish. We're looking here at an interesting video, a short one, the Heaviside function, or you can pronounce it as Heaviside function. If you're going to study limits, this is something to know because you could see this and it has a very practical aspect with regards to one-sided limits. If you're going to go into electrical engineering, you'll see this for sure. In the mid to late 19th century, an electrical engineer named by the name Oliver Heaviside came up with this function to describe an electrical current. What is this function? And we'll show you by means of its definition and by means of its graph. This function with regards to time, because electrical current can alternate or change with regards to time, the function goes like this. It has two states. One is zero and one is one. One state has a value of a zero, the other state has a value of one based on the condition of this function. The value of zero exists for those values of t, which are time, being less than zero, and the value of one for those conditions where time is greater than or equal to zero. Graphically, what does this look like? The heavy side function looks like this. You have an x and y axis plot. What you have over here is a null value, but going towards the left, because you know this right here is the x-axis. x-axis always has the equation y equals zero. And then over here, at it value of 0 comma 1. You can think of that as a y-intercept. You have a function extending here on this side. This is all part of one function, but you have the other part continuing towards in that direction. And you can say this right here is y equals 1. But think about it. It's a discontinuous function. A function is discontinuous such that if you were to trace it with your pen, you'd have to lift your pen and go to the other part and continue it. At any time you're tracing a function with your finger or your pen, if you have to lift your finger or your pen off that curve to proceed ahead with that function, then you have a discontinuous function. Here we have a discontinuous function. The discontinuity lies right here at the value of zero. What are the practical significance of this heavy side function? One significance of this is this, a very quickly stated, it describes an electrical current. Every electrical current with regards to time, it has two states. One is always the on state and the other is the off state. You can very well describe that with regards to this function. And graphically, you can picture that this right here, the top part represents your on state. The bottom part right here represents your off state. Why? Because the off state has a value of zero. The on state here has a value of one. That's one of the primary practical significance aspects of this function. The other one has to do with limits and definitely the concept of one-sided limit. And I'll talk about that and that will lead us to the end of this video. For this specific function, the heavy side function, if someone were to ask you find limit as t approaches zero, where does this function approach? You know here, you're looking here at t approaching zero. You have to evaluate this from both the left side and the right side. So you break this into two parts. You look at the first part, which is limit as t approaches zero from the left. And the second part limit as t approaches zero from the right. If both of these values end up being the same, then the right and the left side limits are equal to each other. Then you can say that this limit exists. When you look at this function here from the left, you're approaching the zero here from the left side. What happens to your value? It actually falls and becomes zero. Your function approaches zero. When you're approaching this same function, the heavy side function, but from the right, of course, you're looking here at your x-axis values. You can put your arrow down here. When you're looking at it over here, you end up seeing that your function approaches a value of one. In this instance, the right hand limit which is equal to 1 and the left hand limit which is equal to 0 are not equal to each other. Therefore, limit for this specific function as t approaches 0, you can say that the limit does not exist. The two-sided limit does not exist, but for this specific function, one-sided limit exists with the left side limit equaling and approaching 0 and the right side limit equaling and approaching 1. And that right there is heavy side function in a nutshell. Perhaps the most basic aspect of this that you should know, especially if you're starting out the whole concept of limits and if you're going into electrical engineering. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.